So in Australia, we talk about, well, we're talking about well positions. In Australia, we have two ways of doing it. We have the AWS way of doing it, and we have the ISO way of doing it. So it's the Australian Welding, American Welding Society, sorry, and the International Standards Organization, two ways of doing it. Traditionally in Australia, we've used the AWS way of doing it. So to explain how that all works, the AWS way of doing it, they talk about welds being either uh, groove welds or fillet welds. So groove welds is what we call in Australia a butt weld and F is a fillet weld. So when we're talking about a, a groove weld, they either have a, um, a 1G, 3G, 5G, or a 6G weld. So they're all butt welds, uh, 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, and 6G. So a 1G weld, we'll talk about the filler welds in a while, but a, one, a 1G weld is just a weld that's uh, in the flat position. It's just done in, in the weld, a weld in the flat position. A 2G weld, where the electrode is, is pointing down like that. A 2G weld, the weld is in the uh, horizontal position. So the weld is Oh, so that's the 2G, 2G weld. Now you can get a 2G weld on plate or a 2G weld on pipe. So if a 2G weld on pipe, it's the same position, but the axis of the pipe is vertical and the weld goes horizontally around the pipe. So a 2G on plate or a 2G on pipe, are the same, same position. So you can get a well qualified uh, on plate or on pipe. They're both in, potentially they can be both in the um, two, 2G position. That's in the same for the 1G 2L? Same with the 1G. You don't usually hear of a 1G used too much on pipe, but it, you're right in what you're saying though. A 1G on a pipe is with the axis horizontal. And the, the uh, wire pointing down from the top, but on the 1G, so that could be a 1G, but if it's a 1G on pipe, the pipe's rotated. Yeah, so a 1G on pipe could be a vessel that's being rotated uh, in a set of rotators. So yeah, so this is the 1G on plate, and that's the 1G on on uh, pipe or on on a, a circular. It could be a, a circular vessel of some kind. It's, as long as with 1G, it's got to rotate. Uh, a 2G is just a uh, weld in the horizontal position and a 2G here, doesn't, that doesn't rotate. Not that it matters, but it's, the weld is just done in the horizontal position where the welder works, works around, uh, around the pipe. A 3G pipe, uh, sorry, a 3G uh, uh, plate is in that position where the weld travels up or down. It doesn't differentiate. A 3G weld is just a, a weld in the vertical position. Whether you travel up or down, it doesn't matter. It's still a, uh, a 3G weld. A 4G weld is a weld in, so that one there's a um, 3G. And this weld is a 4G, where the weld is done in the overhead position. So a 4G weld is, uh, again, just on plate. Um, and it's done in the overhead position. Then you've got a 5G. A 5G is the same position as a 1G. So this one's a 5G. But the 5G doesn't rotate. So the 1G rotates, the 5G is in fixed position. So you start at the bottom and go to the top or the top and go to the bottom either way. So it's a 5G uh, plate. And then the, the last of them now is a 6G. So a 6G is a, a uh, pipe at 45 degrees where the weld starts either at the top and goes to the bottom or the bottom and goes to the top. So the direction of travel using the AWS way of doing things, the direction of travel um, uh, doesn't come into it. It's still just a 6G weld position and of course that's At 45 degrees. Now there is a 6G R, 
with a 6GR, I won't draw it on the diagram, but a 6GR has a restricting ring. So you have a, uh, uh, a flange just below the weld uh, to restrict access for the welder to simulate more a, uh, a real life uh, welding position. So you can have a 6G or a 6GR. Yeah, cool. So that's all the groove welds. Now again with AWS, or well, the groove welds, uh, what we call in Australia, we call them butt welds. But the AWS has the, the uh, groove or the fillet welds. So the fillet welds are in the same position as the, uh, as the, as the uh, groove welds. So you've got um, one F. Four F. Um, five F. And you can even get a 6F, but you never hear of a 6F being used. But a 1F weld is just in the natural V position. So you weld, you fill it weld just like that, and the weld is in that position there. So that weld there, so that would make that about 45 degrees. So the weld just sits in the, in the natural V position. There's your weld there. So a 2F, it sits the bottom plate in the flat position and the other plate at 90 degrees so that's a 2F so that one there's a 1F that one's a 2F so that just sits in the you know with that plate in the horizontal position and that place in, in plate in the vertical position so being a flat because it's the welds actually flat isn't it yes yeah, the flat. welds are flat yeah. yeah um so that one there the weld goes in that position mm. okay and then a 3F the weld, um, mm. the weld is a vertical weld. So the three, the same as with a groove weld or a fillet weld, the weld's a vertical weld. So so if the weld goes in there, mm. so the three F, where it's a, ver a vertical fillet weld. Um, a 4F, so it's done in the overhead position, so the 4, the same as with the 4G, the 4F is in in that position there. So there's the weld there, so it's a 4F. Um, and then a 5F, you, to be honest you very rarely hear of a 5F being used, but a 5F is where the weld, so you have a, uh, a flat plate with a pipe attached to it like that. So up around there, so the weld goes around the pipe. So the pipe's not rotated. So that's a 5F. So the the, the pipe is not rotated. So the weld's onto a piece of plate like that. Yep. And the 6F again, you very rarely hear of a 6F uh, weld being done, but if the plate is um, like that, and you've got a pipe coming off there like that. So the weld goes around, around there like that. So that's a 5F. 45 again, eh? Uh, sorry, sorry, that's a 6F. Yeah. Yes, and at 45 degrees. Yeah. Rotated or fixed? Fixed. Fixed. Yeah. Yep. So if it, if it was rotated and you had the electrode at the top there, what yeah. it would actually be is a 1F. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So the ISO, ISO way of identifying weld positions, they talk about um, ISO 6947. So ISO 6947 is for weld, and so ISO is International Standards Organization, weld positions. Uh, there's also an, uh, an AS, so AS 3545. So AS 3545, talks really about exactly the same as what ISO 6947 says, but in uh, the Australian standards, it also uses the AWS way of identifying it as well as uh, the ISO. So ISO 6947 is what we'll focus on uh, in this lesson. So ISO 6947, when they talk about well positions, it's always position, P for position, P, A, B, C, D, and E. So position A, position B, position C, position D, position E. So the easy way to remember those 
is if you've got a uh, draw yourself a box so that's A B C D and E so position A position B position C position D and position E so they would just have a P in front of it so position A B C D and E so that's those worlds in that position position A, B, C, D and E but there's no mention of a vertical world so with a vertical world if you had a world in that position they differentiate between vertical up and vertical down with the ISO way of doing it with the AWS way of doing it they don't differentiate between uh, vertical up and vertical down so in the ISO way of doing it you got a PF you got a, a um, PG so PF is a vertical up and PG is a vertical down so they actually differentiate between uh, the, in the welding direction with the ISO way they don't do that uh, in the AWS and then you've got a, um, a pipe so that's a vertical up or vertical down on a plate if you have a vertical up or vertical down on a pipe so there's your pipe there looking at the end view of the pipe so if we travelled in that direction on a pipe or we travel in that direction on a pipe in other words we travel vertical up or vertical down if it's vertical down on a pipe it's um, P J or vertical up on a pipe is um, P H so if travelling vertical up so the axis of the pipe is horizontal Travelling vertical up on a pipe, it's PH. Vertical down on a pipe is PJ, which is different vertical up and vertical down on a pipe compared to vertical up and vertical down on a plate. So the only other one that, that they talk about in uh, in ISO 6947 is a 45 degree pipe. So if we had a pipe at 45 degrees like that, now of course in AWS that would be a 6G. So if we had the pipe going around there like that, so they talk about a vertical up in that position is a HLO45. So that's going up on the pipe or down on the pipe. They talk about that as being a JLO45. So that's going down on the pipe like that. So when they have a um, a HLO45 is travelling up so HLO45 the H there and the H there they're both uh, welding on pipes travelling in the upwards upwards direction and then uh, JLO45 is travelling downwards so JLO, uh, uh, PJ is also travelling down on a pipe so the J is uh, welding on a pipe travelling in the vertical down uh, direction so the 45 degrees tells you the angle of the pipe so it could be a HLO 30 or a HLO 60 but typically they use a, for a weld position they typically talk about a weld HLO 45 being in obviously at 45 degrees.